What's up, Internet? My name is Michael Cook, and this is Blue Giant Media. We're here to help you find, learn, and play the games that you love. Today, we're going to unbox and take a look at the components of Biblios by Steve Finn and published by Yellow. Let's jump right in. So one of the things that Biblios did, I don't know if it was first, but it's at least the first one that I knew that did it, and some of the games that follow suit is put the magnetic latch on the side, and they've got it set so it looks like a book on a bookshelf which, since Biblios has to do with being a librarian, is pretty appropriate. So, definitely an A-plus for design on the box. I like it quite a bit. Okay, so we've got a rule book and even more reference on the inside of the box. So the box, once open, still provides you for information. So, man, another plus. Uh, the rule book is short. It's not a complicated game, so... I'll be looking through this and giving more feedback on it later in another video. It comes with one board which to me is a little bit superfluous. I don't know how useful this one board really is. I mean, all it really is doing is providing a place to put these dice as you track them. They really could just be in the middle of the table or the Maybe they even could have put a spot printed on the box or something like that so that the dice can just sit. But, I don't know. Not necessarily anything wrong with it, I just think it's a bit unnecessary. <laughs> All right. The artwork is not ugly, but I'm not going to say that it's spectacular. So this game is played in two phases. It's played in a phase where you will be bidding on the cards and a phase where you will be playing the cards that you bid on. And as you play them and bid on them, the value of the different books, so each one of these corresponds to like a genre of book. And as you play them, you're going to be increasing the value of the different um, different genres of books. So we've got, I guess these are, it says pigments, monks, so these are not necessarily book genres, I guess. This one says holy books, this one is manuscripts, and this one is forbidden tomes. So these are sort of like resources, and these are the books themselves, thematically. But really, it's not a thematic game. But you'll just be using uh, the cards and the money to increase and decrease the value so that at the end of the game, in this instance, if you have the most monks in your monastery, library, scriptorium, whatever you want to call it, you're going to get six points. And it's the same for each of these five colors. And as you play the game, you're going to have the ability to increase and decrease the value of some of these things as you kind of see how much your opponents are getting. So that is what is inside the box. Let's go ahead and put everything back. Packs up pretty easily. Looks like it's going to set up quite quickly. You get, you'll get to see more of that in my Ready, Set, Play. But. And that's what's in the box for Biblios by Steve Finn and published by Yellow. If you want to see how to set up the game, how some rounds of play look, if you want to see a review of this game, check for a link in the description below. If you want to buy this game, you can also find a link in the description to macronovagames.com where you can buy this and many other great games. If you want to see a video of a game that we have not done yet, please let me know in the comments section below so that we can try and get that made for you. And if you want a game that isn't on macronovagames.com yet, please let them know and they'll add it to the store as quick as they can. Until next time, I want to thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day.